Welcome to Wild World News. What is happening, Magnusites? Uh, I meant to cover this yesterday, but I was just so damn busy. So, for some Wild World news, this is very, uh, you know. So it says, 51 adult migrant found dead in tractor trailer in San Antonio. Survivors hospitalized. This is crazy. Was this human trafficking? What the hell was going on? All right, we're waiting for law enforcement press conference just starting on the 40 migrants found dead in a big rig truck. Tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased, the ailing, the families, and we hope that those responsible for putting these people in such humane conditions are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, so this is a federal investigation, uh, but I'm going to turn it over to Chief McManus to talk a little bit about the city's initial response, you'll hear from Chief Hood as well. And then uh, Council Member Rocha Garcia will provide some for our Spanish media. Thank you, Mayor. So I, I want to emphasize that this is preliminary information, and it could change. So mm -hmm. the first call came in at about uh, 10 minutes to 6 this afternoon. Uh, fire a, a worker uh, who is, works in one of the buildings up here behind me uh, heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a, a trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look, and found a number of uh, deceased individuals inside. So we have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. Turned it over to them about probably two hours ago. But right now we've got three folks in custody. Um, and again, this is all preliminary information. I'm going to turn it over to Chief Hood. Uh, good evening, Charles Hood, San Antonio Fire Department. Approximately 6 this evening, San Antonio Fire Department responded to 9600 Quintana Road for a report of a dead person. Engine 52 arrived and uh, found the trailer, as Chief McManus mentioned, uh, with a body outside and, and several that they could visibly see inside once the doors were open. Um, at this time, we have processed approximately 46 bodies that have been triaged and tagged and uh, declared deceased at this time. Fortunately, we were able to transport 16 people. 12 of those are adults and four pediatric. All of them were conscious at the time upon transportation. Uh, first patient was transported at seven minutes after six, with the last one being transported at uh, 6.57. So a mass casualty with triage involved, it went very smoothly and very quickly. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Uh, at this time, we have uh, released all our companies back in service. We use approximately about 60 firefighters, 20 fire engines, and 10 medic units of which we transported uh, to various local hospitals uh, throughout the city. So it is our hope and prayer that the conditions of those that were transported will improve as we speak. Uh, we are currently putting those 60 members through critical incident stress debriefing. Again, uh, we're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. No. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. So we're working through the uh, behavioral health for our folks right now. Uh, I'll turn this back over to Dr. Garcia and answer any questions that you may have later. Can you just confirm that the, number, the numbers that you just gave? Yes, sir. 
16 transported, uh, 12 of those adults, 4 pediatric, and uh, 46 entered deceased. Okay, what were the conditions of those that were transferred? Uh, all heat related injuries and uh, no fatalities of peds that we know of. How could that many people be in the truck for that long? Buenas noches, soy la concejal Rocha García del Distrito 4 y estamos aquí muy tristes. All right, so you've been uh, watching a quick law enforcement wow. briefing on what happened in San Antonio just after 6 o'clock when uh, the fire department first on the scene uh, was responding to a call, 46 people dead inside a semi-trailer rig, uh, apparently immigrants. Uh, illegal immigrants brought into this country. Uh, another 16 people taken. Heather, we just heard that, and four of them are, are children. Well, and so now all the fire That's crews, good. yes, as we as we heard uh, from fire officials, we said that all those crews now for fire anyway are back and, and had, are back in uh, service, and so already thinking about addressing the emotional needs that those people will need to have met after seeing what they did. Dozens and dozens of people Man. back in the back of this not uncool tractor trailer no ventilation at all no water either so of course we're going to continue to follow this during this newscast and fox 40 is at 10 and of course good day in the morning as well we'll be right back man that is wow i'm just thinking to myself like <sighs> i know illegal immigrants come in to the country all the time different types of ways to get in here. But it's just weird. I don't understand how that many people died in there. Like, did they lie? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, I've heard of people being transported in those, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about, those, um, those containers. And people finding them dead because they've, you know, been sitting in the container all that time, overseas, like, like, I've heard of that, but I don't understand, like, if you're driving a truck, you can stop to, you know, feed them, or give them water, or whatever it is, you know what I mean, I, I don't, I don't, apparently there's much more to this story, I'm just sitting here like, I, I don't understand what the hell's going on here, but... I guess uh, we'll talk about it as as more, you know, comes, you know, available to the story. Um, so wait a minute, it says death toll rises to 51. And trucking company says 18 wheeler with 51 dead inside was cloned? By human smugglers? What? Alright, hold on here. Let me let me see something here. Alright. President Biden called the deaths of 51 migrants in the back of a tractor trailer in San Antonio horrifying and heartbreaking. Governor Abbott blames the president's border policy for those deaths. The medical examiner has identified 34 of the victims, some of them teenagers, believed to be younger than 18. Fox Force Lori Brown joins us now with the story. Lori. Heather, the investigation into the migrant smuggling operation is now in federal hands. It is still unclear why the driver of the big rig abandoned the truck on the side of the road and how long it was sitting there for. Yeah, okay, now I see. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says ICE is conducting the investigation about what led up to the deaths of the migrants with the support of San Antonio Police and U.S. Customs and well, Border Patrol. So that's how Mayorkas they died. Said in a tweet, well, at least that's what it sounds. Palace individuals who have no regard for the vulnerable people they exploit and endanger in order to make a profit. While little new information was released Tuesday about the investigation, That's Monday night, City right Antonio Police said they had three people in custody. A city employee working nearby made the horrific discovery after hearing a cry for help from inside the big rig. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. Sixteen people, four of them children, were found barely alive. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion. Uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer. 
but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Tuesday, President Biden said in a statement, initial reports are that this tragedy was caused by smugglers or human traffickers who have no regard for the lives they endanger and exploit to make a profit. This incident underscores the need to go after the multi-billion dollar criminal smuggling industry, preying on migrants and leading to far too many innocent deaths. Governor Abbott directly blamed the president. These deaths are on Biden. They are the result of his deadly open border policies. They show the deadly consequences of his refusal to enforce the law. That drew harsh criticism from a Bear County commissioner at a press briefing where the death toll was updated. The governor of the great state of Texas has once again politicized this horrific tragedy by taking to Twitter and placing the blame on others for his failures. It is still not clear whether or how the truck was inspected, and investigators have not said exactly where it crossed. Congressman Henry Cuellar, who represents Laredo, said the truck came through the Laredo checkpoint. He said in a tweet, we must bring an end to these senseless deaths and hold those responsible accountable. Let us pray for the families of the deceased. May they rest in peace. Damn, that's a lot of people. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol has not published a death tally for this year, but uh, the agency has performed over 14,000 search and rescue missions, which is already more than the 13,000 performed for all of last year. Okay. Now let's see the... We expect to hear from Governor Abbott tomorrow afternoon about the discovery of smuggled migrants found dead in an 18-wheeler. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. It's unclear if the governor will explain how that truck got across the border and if the illegal border crossers were in the truck prior to crossing over. In total, 51 people are now dead. We're learning new details about the 18-wheeler that carried them. Turns out smugglers may have been using a technique where this smuggling truck masks as a legitimate freight truck. Fox Sports Stephen Dye, live tonight with a story. Stephen. Sounds like the cloning thing that we're talking Steve, about. As you mentioned, the death toll rolls today involving dozens of migrants that died in a hot trailer in San Antonio. Jesus. And tonight I spoke to a company who says that they are victim to what's being called truck cloning. An abandoned 18-wheeler in San Antonio was noticed by a city worker Monday evening when they heard a cry for help. Inside, a horrible discovery, and now 51 undocumented migrants are dead in what's likely the deadliest tragedy involving migrants smuggled across the border from Mexico. Damn. The driver of the truck and two others were arrested, according to Congressman Harry Cuellar, who represents the area. Department of Transportation numbers on the side of the truck link it to a small company in the Rio Grande Valley. But the company says the driver is not one of its employees. The owner's son tells Fox 4 over the phone the truck isn't theirs either. We had nothing to do with that tragedy. Felipe Betancourt Jr. didn't want to think <laughs> that's that it. That's the only sound bite. For trucking and harvesting. He says the truck is the victim of truck cloning. That's when someone else, usually a smuggler, steals DOT numbers in order to skirt law enforcement. It angers me that somebody did this to those people. You know, and it angers me that I got it. They, they, they got me involved in, in this, you know. Bethancourt shared this picture with Fox 4 of their actual truck with the same numbers on the side, but he says it's not in San Antonio. It's been running green, loads of green, all week since last Friday. We have, we, we can, I'm pretty sure we can get video of my truck going in and out of the unloading location. Beth on court says his company owns refrigerated trucks, but this one, where the migrants were found, did not have any working AC. Temperatures were in the triple digits. The victims inside that truck didn't have access to water, and many of the surviving victims suffered from extreme dehydration and heat stroke. And while Beth on court tells Fox 4 God. he doesn't know anyone personally who's fallen victim to truck cloning, oh it's not God. uncommon. Last August, Homeland Security took a driver and 10 migrants into custody in Arizona. They were inside a cloned Border Patrol vehicle. The driver wore a fake uniform. As for the investigation, we know the victims came from Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. The medical examiner will work to fully determine the cause of death, and authorities will work to identify the victims. Officials say it was hard to identify ages, but they believe some of the victims are teens. Some of them are under the age of 18, but we have to ask you to understand that 
what we have in materials there to try and identify the individuals cannot be at this time perfectly matched to the individuals. A similar incident happened back in 2017 in San Antonio when 10 migrants died in a vehicle hit at a Walmart parking lot. Also, really? the owner of the company stressed to me that no law enforcement agency has reached out to them, but they said media was contacting them and they wanted to get out in front of this and say that they had nothing to do with that tragedy. Wow. Listen, from coming from someone who's done different jobs, one thing that I did was I used to load tractor trailers. You have no idea, unless you've ever been in one, how hot they get in the summer. Who knows? To kill... I could see it possibly being able to kill some people overnight. That's how hot it gets in these trailers. When I used to work for Pepsi, I used to have to go into trailers to get stock out to bring it out to stock stores and build displays. Incredibly hot. So, between those two jobs that I had, man, they couldn't have been in there for more than a couple of days. You got all that body heat, too? Oh, my God, man. Like, yeah, I, don't, I can't see someone surviving. I remember how hot that got. I, I can't see someone surviving a whole day in there. Not joking. A whole day. So if he dropped them off at night and ran, that next day is what killed him. That's what I think. Whew. Post comments down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this story. Any extra details you might have. And, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, my God.